Today we are making katsuri pepper. Today we're doing a bit of traditional style because we have some pecorino today. Back then they used to have pecorino. They used that um, separates, used that in only three ingredients. Pecorino, um, pecorino romano. Um, it was pepper and uh, noodles. Or in other words, a different pasta, I mean, sorry. And then, but then today we're adding different ingredients. So the ingredients we have here are uh, Pecorino Romano, Romano, one cup. This is Parmigiano Reggiano, two cups. Pancetta, two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of butter, our newly crusted pepper well it's not going to be crossed immediately we're going to do this and as you can see this is a time to drop in that we have new um i have a new apron as you can see and also we have crossable i just it's a grinder a grinder and then last we have pasta so we already boiled the water as you can see it's steaming so we're going to get to work so now I'm gonna call in my mom. Show your face, mom, again. <laughs> Hi, I'm here. Hi, everybody. I'm so, having David. So right now we're putting in the spaghetti into the water. We already put some in, but now we're gonna put everything in. By the way, did you know that um, cacio e pepper means cheese and pepper? It started in Italy a long time ago. Um, about ancient Roman times. And as you can see, we also have a new addition, some new utensils. Made of wooden. It looks super cool and old. Really old. Like what they used back then. Back in the ancient times. In the yeah. Roman times. Well at least this but then, well at least this doesn't, you know, um rest, am I right? Hmm. Alright. Okay, so we let this boil for how many minutes, Baba? Eight minutes. Okay, we let it boil until it's al dente. Al dente. And then we reserve two cups of pasta water. Very good. Okay, let it boil for now. Now we're putting in the olive oil. It's your, the skillet is already hot. You should put this at medium heat. But here we're putting it to four. So slowly. The, uh, the extra virgin olive oil, oil is now hot enough. So we're gonna put in the pancetta. I had to keep my distance. I had really bad experiences with this. So I'm gonna try to learn my lesson. Okay. Now I'm gonna start sauteing it. Mm -hmm. Saute it for like how many minutes? About five minutes. Yeah, five to ten minutes until it's crisp. And go. Now it's time to grind up the pepper. This is the first time to use it for me. My mom and Kuya have already used it. So, here it comes. Wow, this is easy. Is it? I saw it. Whenever I look at, um, like people in the... Um, restaurants doing this, it look, they look like they're putting so much pressure into their hands, but then it's actually more easy than I thought. So it's good now. Mm hmm. Yes. Sorry. Now I'm going to stir it for a minute. Let's see it goes. So now I'm going to add in the pasta. Okay, good, it's like parking. After putting the water, we put the pasta. This time we made it faster. Usually we would do it, um, we drain, we it, drain first. it first, but then we learned from the lesson because it was so sticky and we didn't like it. So, but we found out a better way. So now we're gonna put in the Parmigiano Reggiano, two cups. That's gonna look cheesy. Okay. Mm -hmm. We put in the butter. I'll put in the butter. Butter. Okay. 
Oh, you I steer it now. Steer it. Okay. We mixed everything, so now we're gonna put in the pepperino, the model. There we go. Now we're gonna put the pasta. In. Another. Okay, another half cup. No and salt. then mix it all up. Now I'll mix it all up. So now this is done. Now it looks creamy, yummy, gooey in a good way. It's really good. Oh my gosh. Can't wait to try this. It's tasting time. Let's try it. Try another one, so I can describe it even better. Mm. Even better. This time it's even better because the pecorino and it's so soft. And it's, I have to say, it's just better. Really good, creamy. Especially with the butter. Deliciosa. Deliciosa. What makes it even better is that um, it's so still new, still great.